Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I wanted to do was talk about something that I've been asked several times from people who are looking to break into commercial real estate brokerage, and that is, what exactly do you need to do in order to be successful in the business? Now, I don't necessarily claim to be the most successful in the business. I definitely am not. There's plenty of people out there that are doing much, much bigger things than me at this moment in time. However, I have talked to a lot of individuals who have had a lot of success in the business and these are some of the character traits and, and skills that I've identified within them and things that I've tried to employ in my own business in order to be successful in my own business. So today we're going to talk about the five th key things that you can look at or do uh, to be able to make your business as successful as possible. Uh, but before we dive into this video, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now that you've done that, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive right into this episode. All right, so what skills and what character traits you need in order to be successful as a commercial real estate agent or commercial real estate broker? Well, today I'd like to share the five key things that I've identified after having spoken with many successful commercial real estate agents and brokers over the course of the last two and a half years of me being in business. Um, and the first, the first thing that I'd like to, to state is that all the individuals that I've spoken to love entrepreneurship and business. Uh, many of them, you know, from an early age were, sh showed an interest in entrepreneurship. Maybe they had small businesses when they were younger, or maybe they had paper routes or something that really intrigued them regarding business. Uh, and again, you're going to be working with a lot of business owners and also investors. So have, being able to speak the same language as them, and a lot of times that just comes down to your interest in that particular area, it is going to bode well for you. So first and foremost, you really have to have a passion for entrepreneurship and commerce in general. So that's number one. Number two is that you have to be comfortable with dealing with numbers. Uh, you know, we're going to be typically speaking when you're dealing with investors, they're going to want to know what the return on their investment is. They're going to ask you what net present value is, IRR, cap rates, etc. So you're going to have to feel comfortable dealing in these environments. Um, and if you don't really feel comfortable dealing in with with these types of numbers it can hurt you when you're dealing with people who are a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to investment opportunities. And so what I usually encourage people to do is to take courses like CCIM. Uh, CCIM is an institute that, that that gives courses pertaining to commercial real estate investment. So you can learn a little bit more about the different facets of you know how investors analyze these opportunities. So you can get a little bit more comfortable with cal these calculations so you can better serve your clients. So number two is being comfortable with numbers and wanting to learn and, and understand how these opportunities can be beneficial to your particular client. Number three is persistence and a hunter's mentality. Uh, and this is probably the most important uh, trait that I see in a lot of these excellent commercial real estate agents is because, you know, we're in a profession where you, where it is, you eat what you kill. So if you don't have that tenacity, if you don't have that persistence, if you don't have that hunter's mentality, you really won't last very long in the business. Um, you know, and, and in particular, the first couple of years where you're really not seeing the immediate results of your labor, that can be very disheartening to a lot of people. So having that persistence and having that hunter's mentality to where each day is a new day and you're going to continue to, to put in action towards developing new business is a trait that, in my opinion, is probably the most important trait uh, for uh, commercial real estate agents uh, in general. All right, so that's number three. Number four is a commitment to building your personal brand. Now, this can come in many forms. Uh, you can do meetups, you can do social media, you can do you know, blogging, et cetera. But having a commitment to, be to become a recognized es expert in your field, in my opinion, is also an extremely important um, uh, trait in particular. And, and it may be just as important as the persistence and hunter's mentality. The reason is, is because this is a career for all of us. So if you think about it, if you start at the bottom, you start creating content right now, if you are consistent about creating content and, and putting yourself out there and building your personal brand, what is it going to look like in 10 years where you have archived content for, for a significant amount of time? Your name is going to be out there. People are going to have an idea of who you are, what you do, and have an understanding of, of, of what you're about and, and how good you are at your particular profession. Whereas someone who do, ha, hasn't put in the legwork for those many years will not be on the same level as far as the competition is concerned because people just won't know about what they do on a regular basis. So in my opinion, getting very committed about building your personal brand, whether that's via podcast, YouTube, social media, blogging, meetups, it doesn't matter. Just getting your name out there and being consistent with it over an extended period. We're not talking a couple months. We're talking years and years and years. 
can bode well, ext extremely well uh, for your career long term. And then finally, number five, which I think is applicable to any profession you go into, is your desire to learn and be the best. Again, this is a competitive environment. You're going to be competing against your peers, even though you do have good, good relationships with your peers. I've made many friendships with other commercial agents in town. The, the reality is that we are all competing for business. So in order for you to succeed in, as, as, high, as highly as you want to, you need to become excellent at what you do. So you need to learn, you know, read sales books, read business books, read investment books, read all, read and consume as much information as you can about your profession so you can become a killer, an absolute killer in what you do. And then from there, just strive every day to be your best. Don't compare yourself to other people. Everyone has their own journey in life and their own path in life. All you can control is your ability to be a little bit better every single day. And if you do that over an extended period, I almost guarantee you that you will be successful long term. And, and again, I'm only two and a half years in my uh, profession, so I won't speak to you know those who have been in 10, 20 years, but the, those that I've spoken to that have had success for that period of time, they do all hold these character traits. And it really is something that if you do commit to, you'll be excellent at your profession and become very, success, very successful in the commercial real estate space. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your, your support and, 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 and everything you, you, you guys have done for the channel. Uh, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm sure it's more and more people can hear this message. If you are actively in the market in Louisville, the Louisville metro area or surrounding areas and you're looking for commercial property, Either you're looking to lease, buy, or sell commercial property, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 502-536-7315. Or you can reach me via email at rafaelcrisantigroup.com. I'd be happy to help you with all your commercial real estate needs. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.